Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Cody, this is Val. This little fella is the reason we don't sleep at night or do any of the other things we want to do right now. Cody's, Cody has been missing saying, welcome back to the Zelensky life, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how to do the intro just yet because, you know, we're still in flux and we haven't done as many, uh, we haven't had as many opportunities to do videos. But today's video, we are talking about recapping November because, whoa, what a situation that turned out to be. Okay, so I'm going to be real with you guys. We it's going to be a short video. Well, we, I didn't really pay attention to her budget at all last month. Yeah, we, we kind of dropped the ball. If, if you want to do like a short version of what this video is going to be, just get yourself like a box of Kleenex and light it on fire. <laughs> and that's basically what you're about to see. All right, so <clears throat> our total income for November was $3,600. Um, $3,333 of that was miscellaneous income, which is... Selling stuff. Basically selling stuff. And then we unfortunately had to borrow some money from a family member until our EI claim goes through because they're still, they've still not processed it. Yeah. It, they're working on it. It's taken them eight weeks to call and say, hey, there was a fraud issue, so we're looking into it and we'll get back to you. Um, we're working as quick as we can, which... You know, maybe they are backlogged. It's a big country, and I doubt there's like a one to one ratio of government workers to people on EI and various benefits and stuff. But, um, you know, them working as fast as they can is still my family not eating food. Yeah. Um, and then 300, just over $300 was from the Zelensky life. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. So our expenses we had $1,200 to debt payments. Those were just our minimum debt payments. We had. $2,500 to our bills, $700 went to phones. It technically would have been less than that, but the way I budgeted it out, it looks weird, and eBay held on to my money until December, so the numbers don't match up. Anyways, long story short, we traded in our phones and bought new phones again. Yeah, we, we've had a lot of... Uh, Sold our phones. ...income issues this month with money that, like, it's supposed to be there, and it's just not because mm -hmm. of, you know, errors and whatever, and... We're looking into it as fast as we can, but like we're not actually going to do anything because, like, why would I do that? Yeah. Um, our living expenses were six hundred and eighty-five dollars. Again, this looks weird because I've been putting the kids. Um, oh, that went into living expenses. Yeah, I put the okay. So for the kids, yeah. So the kids, I put that in the wrong category. I'm going to have to move that. Um, the money that we get for the kids, I put into their account instead of including, including it as income. But I think I might change that going forward because it weirds me out in the reports when I look at it this way. <laughs> but we spent $800 on food and grocery, $250 on gas, $252 on household stuff, which I think was mostly yeah Christmas things. Mm -hmm. um, and then we came out positive because we had money from the kids come in down here. I don't know, the whole thing is just kind of weird. Yeah. The way it maps it out. I'm gonna change the way I do that going forward. Um, for the kids, $200 on diapers and wipes. Yeah, two kids poop a lot. Mm-hmm. $100 for toys because it is Christmas, so we bought them some Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. And miscellaneous, oh, the iPad case for Freya. We needed something beefy because she takes that iPad everywhere. Yeah, it's uh, the only way we can keep her from like losing her darn mind in the car. So we downloaded all of her favorite shows onto Netflix and Apple TV Plus and something else. And now she can just, we can put her shows on in the car and then we can like go places and do things. It's kind of nice. Yeah, subscriptions were $66. Fun money was over $1,000. $479 was dining out. Excellent. Smack on the wrist. It's all coming together. Smack on the wrist. Shame on us. <laughs> That's a lot of money yeah. for dining out for people who yeah, have no you money. You guys can't tell, but Gunner's trying to choke me out right now. It's terrible. Yeah. Dead man can't eat fast food, Dad. Mm-hmm. Um, the Zelensky life cost us over $1,000. Again, the big chunk of that was our... Personal development. Our personal development, yeah. Yeah, we have a a new coaching thing happening. Sorry, they're uh, 
spraying rocks in our skating rink out front. Yeah, they're putting gravel down out there. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. We have a new um, coaching program or whatever it is that we're we've signed up for that we're very super excited a about. A mastermind, it, yeah. A mastermind, yes. It is going to be a, a huge deal. We're very excited for it. Yes, but it was expensive. Mm-hmm. Worth it. It's always worth it, but it was expensive. Investing in yourself is never cheap, but it's always worth it. So $740 is what we spent last month on personal development. Preview is the scheduling app that I use for all of our Instagram content. I just purchased it for a whole year. Um, they had a Black Friday sale and it wound up being cheaper. So I just did that in Canvas, our regular payment there. So sinking funds, $400 on Christmas. Again, a lot of this was Christmas toys and... Junk for the kids. Yeah, junk for the kids. Yeah, we're not going to bother with a whole lot of like baking or anything this year or... We pretty much put up all the lights we were going to put up, I think. Yeah. Gifts. It was my best friend's birthday this past month, so I got her a gift. Um, some clothing, which still is not here, so we might actually get refunded for that. Yeah. Medical dental. I had to get my dental work done this month. Because, like, I'm in dire need of socks, guys. I bought socks not long ago, and they've been holding out fine. But over the last month, I'm averaging having to throw away, like, five socks a week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, and then the medical dental, or not medical dental, the vehicle maintenance was very expensive because we got our brakes done and we got winter tires put on the car. Yes. Because like we mentioned a moment ago, she's a skating rink out there. Mm -hmm. So our net income for the month, we went backwards just over six grand. Yeah. Which does not surprise me because we have had no active working income for four months now. Mm -hmm. August, September, October, November. Yeah. We're going into our fifth month. Of no income. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's okay. It is what it is. Yep. Cody may or may not decide to go back to work just for a short week, like one week, just a random one off project. We'll see. We're still discussing it. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're a little reticent about it because the, the money would definitely help float us through. But, um, Looking after two kids is a lot. Like, we're Mm -hmm. pretty well completely overwhelmed all the time with both of us. Yeah. And for me to take off for, like, a week would be... It's something we got to (laughs) discuss. I don't know how single moms do it. Single moms, you amaze me. The the strength and mental toughness it would require to raise kids by yourself, I just, I don't know how I would do it. Mm -hmm. It might be a little easier if I had friends and family that could come regularly help me, but I don't have that option. So, I don't know. Cody and I, like I said, we're going to talk about it. We'll see what we can work out because until we get our EI claim for his parental leave, Mm -hmm. we have no money to pay our bills. So, we might have to suck it up and send him back to work for a week until we get our claim through and until the business is making more money. If our back pay from EI comes through the way we expect it to, it'll pay us pretty much to the end of December maybe a little bit into January, Mm -hmm. and then the amount of money we get from EI up until the back pay wears off will pay us through until February-ish, and by then, theoretically, the business should be making money, Um, you know, God's willing. (laughs) And I did want to touch on the loans, um, because this was a new feature that YNAB launched last month, and so Mm -hmm. now we have activity in here. Um, again, I, we're filming this on, what is it, December 2nd today, I think. Yeah. Third. Third. December 3rd. Um, so it'll say no payments for this month. But if we come down to the account history, it'll show us that for November, this is our balance in, no, in November. This is our balance in October. You can expand it. October, we didn't make any payments. This month we did. This is what we paid on interest how much we have remaining, our estimated payoff date. Same with our car loan. Our car loan will tell us this is what our balance was as of the end of November. This is what we paid. This is how much we were charged in interest. And again, YNAB automatically calculates this, which I really like, so I don't have to manually calculate the interest and then try to figure out how much I've paid down in principle every month. So that's nice. Mm Mm-hmm. It's a neat little feature. I'm excited to see how it uh, changes and evolves over time. And so far it seems accurate. I'll double check. Oh, I can't double check. Um, I'm pretty sure I double checked this. 
Yeah, of course I did. You double checked it. You double check everything all the time. I, yeah, I did, and this is the correct balance as of the end of November. So they are calculating it correctly. The only thing I had to add in here was the fifty dollar fee. We pay a fifty dollar fee every month, um, but the interest is calculated correctly. And after I added in the fee, this is right. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's it. It's just we don't have a lot to that's go it. over. It's a short video. <laughs> <laughs> things aren't things are looking bleak financially it's at okay. the moment but it's all right thank you guys for sticking with us we love having you here and we love doing these for you yeah it's been a while since we got to do anything like wine and finance related mm -hmm. so i appreciate you guys being here to watch yeah so that's it that's it that's all guys so as always if you like it like it if you don't like it dislike it twice make sure you subscribe leave comments ring that little bell so you get notified when we do these Thank nice you. financial videos that you guys like so much we gotta bring our bell back we do need to bring the bell back it's hiding somewhere i'll find it for the next video <laughs> now that we have a temporary working office space type situation mm -hmm. set up here where we can do these we'll uh, see about getting all situated again yeah but Leave likes, leave comments, subscribe. It helps with the channel so much, mm -hmm. and therefore us and this little guy. Because, mm -hmm. um, I mean, look at it. He's so cute. <laughs> but I think we'll leave you here, guys. So thanks for coming along with us. Uh, we love doing these for you. Uh, we love you guys very much. And is it ever going to be payday again? <laughs> Bye. Bye.